fun of it and when I was younger I actually competed in it as well but basically what you do is you create a costume for yourself and for your animal and <laughs> usually it involves plaid but you can also do Halloween themed costumes and things like that and for years at the Kern County Fair there has been one woman who has been its biggest supporter. It was her calling. This was something that she planned for and she looked forward to and just had an amazing time. I mean, her energy came alive during this time. For roughly the past 30 years, you could find Donna Miller at the Kern County Fair for Pork and Plaid. It was fun, you know, she really got a kick out of it and enjoyed it and, and it became a tradition with her. A tradition that she shared with each of her granddaughters from her eldest she was right there always giving me words of encouragement to her youngest she loved it and so it was something that i loved doing because i knew how happy it made her she helped sew more outfits for pork and plaid than anyone else not only for her granddaughters but for any kid wanting to compete and with every stitch a memory made because of the fact that it wasn't something that just happened um, overnight, it took some time and preparation. So that's quality of time that each grandkid got to spend with uh, their grandmother that probably otherwise a lot of other children don't get to do. It was an experience. I remember going to, we would go to Beverly's, we would go to every fabric store and look at different patterns and she would voice her opinion um, and we would discuss colors and patterns and she would let me know which pattern would best fit my body type and everything like that. I think I had more fittings for pork and plaid than I did for my wedding. As she got older, her eyes got worse, and so we had issues when it came to if I couldn't uh, thread a needle, then she couldn't thread a needle, and so we are both trying to thread a needle, and it just wasn't working out. And So there's a lot of good and funny memories that I have with her and a lot of laughs that I will always hold close to my heart. Donna died in May. This is the first Kern County Fair her family will experience without her. This year will be very hard because it's going to be one of the first years that I can't share that with her. I know when we look out into the ring and at the Pork and Plaid show, she's right there. In spirit and name, as this year the Champion Pork and Plaid Award will be given in her memory. Everyone knew her as an exceptional sewer. I mean, she sewed everything and I think this is just the perfect time to really remember her and, uh, and honor her for sure. I think my mom is going to be looking down and the first thing she's going to say is, oh, for Pete's sake, it was just a dress, <laughs> you know, because um, she never drew any attention to the fact I used to tell her, mom, you missed your calling. You needed to be a you know, you should have been a designer. She was that good. But maybe she didn't miss her calling at all. And Pork and Plaid is tonight at 7 o'clock at the Kern County Fair, and it'll be a very touching tribute to Donna tonight. Yeah. And uh, I'll be there in seeing, and I'm sure there's going to be um, a lot of tears falling. Yeah. So. Yeah. But, I mean, such a happy, beautiful yes. legacy is oh, the thing. You know, so is. many great things to celebrate about that legacy. I think the most important thing that we can learn from Donna and her family is that what happens out in these barns is so magical for people. And I'm tearing up right now. I'm sorry. But kids learn a lot of really yeah. great things in these barns, and they get a lot of quality time with their family here. It's so. Well, really I think her legacy is going to be carried out through uh, for generations to come, I for sure. So too. Thanks, All right. Tab. Thank you, Tabitha. All right, well, still to come, we've talked about it before, Casey's new exhibit, the Kern County Fair's new exhibit, Casey's Garden, that's coming up.